All right. Uh, forgot something. We gotta have some coffee first. Always gotta have the coffee first. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's get it first. Yeah, so welcome to my channel and uh, this is not gonna be a review about the DF like you saw there in the beginning, but rather a short video about, uh, let's see if we can focus, about the ZF. Beautiful, beautiful camera if you ask me. And uh, just some initial thoughts about the ZF and uh, some reaction to some of the comments on the tons of videos out there already on uh, YouTube about the ZF. So, I did not have to sell my liver or my kidney to get the ZF this time around. But I did have to sell my uh, beloved Leica M240. And I'm gonna tell you if I think it's worth it or was worth it in the end. But uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna do that in my review that's coming in the future. Uh, so this time around just wanted to give you those initial thoughts about the ZF and what I think about it after using it for a couple of weeks now. I saw all those reactions uh, in the YouTube videos about the ZF and uh, my response to that basically is about expectations again. I think if you had the right type of expectations uh, about the grip and ergonomics and uh, coming into a new brand, a new system from Fuji or any other brand, you have to relearn that system and make it your own, the, the new camera. And just customize it like you, like you want to. Uh, learn the, go through the process, basically. And uh, you won't be disappointed, I think. And a lot of those people being disappointed about, about the ZF. Granted, I mean, the response to the ZF in general has been very, very good, I, I think. That's what I, what I see. But uh, a lot of those negative comments could be avoided or the people making them uh, would not have to be so disappointed, I, th I feel, uh, going in with the right expectations. I think if you read up on the ZF uh, before you get it, you won't be surprised and you will be very, very pleased with the ZF. And uh, that's what I did with the DF from the beginning as well. And, uh, Disregarding all the negative reviews about it uh, on, the, on YouTube and so on and just reading up on it and have some sort of moderate expectations about it, you will be very, very pleased with this camera. That's what I think. Also, I'm very happy that uh, Nikon did not change the design of it as well. I mean, then it would be another type of camera completely. It wouldn't be a retro camera modeled after the FN2, for example. So. I'm very, very happy that they were brave enough to put out this camera, just like the DF, and uh, let it have no grip. You can add the grip later, and I mean, you even get, uh, get it as a package with a smaller grip that I did, and a lot of people did, so I don't see what the uh, complaint is about. Then you can choose. You can choose the retro camera with no grip and the horrible grip, or you can just choose to put a smaller grip on and, and uh, be happy, or another grip. It's your choice. Coming from something like the DF and D4 that I still own and use, uh, I was never too keen to get into the Z system to begin with. I did not like that adapter that I said in some other reviews that I made. And uh, I didn't feel the need to upgrade from the DF or the D4 at all. Uh, I didn't like the look of the Z bodies, the Z6, 7 or 8 or 9. And also, I'm, I am very happy with the D4 and DF still, still use those cameras a lot. So why did I want to, to get the first C body? So yeah, one of the key features besides the ZF being very, very beautiful, uh, very nice design on this camera. Uh, one of the key features for me was adapting vintage lenses. And like I said in my a review about the X-T1 and also the DF, I, th I think. Uh, I wanted a full-frame camera to adapt those lenses to. Um, I mean, it's been very nice to adapting lenses to the X-T1. But 
I haven't been able to use some of my wider angle lenses and so on. So a full frame body was something that I looked forward to a lot. I would also say that the size of the ZF is a, a big plus for me. Uh, selling the like M240, I wanted a new camera that, that I was able to bring on the streets for street photography as well. And carrying it around now for a couple of weeks, I can say that it's, uh, it's a pretty light package, especially with those lighter Z mount lenses, that, like the 40mm f2 or the 28mm uh, f2.8. I don't have that lens yet. But with the 40, for example, it becomes a very, very nice uh, package to ca carry around. So that's a big plus, uh, a big key feature for, for me as well. About the size, you can see here, like some of the other uh, older Nikon bodies. Here's the ZF and here's the FE2, for example. A little bit bigger, as you can see, you have the FN3A here. So, you know if you can see, but yeah, similar size, like the FN3. A little bit bigger there as well, perhaps. Uh, we have the old Nicromat. Also beautiful vintage camera. Let's see, oh, heavy, heavy bugger, Nicromat. Yeah, so uh, so another feature that I heard about and saw in, in other YouTube videos was the amazing feature with the eye magnifier focus the, to, fo to be able to focus on the eyes using manual lenses. And uh, using it now for two weeks, I can say it's just brilliant, uh, amazing feature. Something that makes focusing with those old vintage lenses with a large aperture a bliss. And something that only the ZF, as far as I know, have. So that's a very, very good feature as well. And how about that secret hidden switch that makes everything go black and white? Whoa! I kind of like it. It's kind of grown on me the last couple of weeks as well, uh, using it for street photography. And uh, it's just something that makes it more accessible to have a little switch like that, that you can just turn the whole world into black or white. Uh, a lot easier than digging into menus and so on, or. Uh, switching buttons and stuff. This is just the switch and everything goes black or white. Really like it. Well done, Nikon. Also, I must say the modes on there for the monochrome photography, the deep monochrome, the flat monochrome and monochrome, I believe it is. Uh, at first I used the deep monochrome because I heard so many people talking about it in the uh, reviews on YouTube. But now I sort of... Uh, decided on the monochrome uh, preset. And that's really, really nice. Uh, I've used it a couple of times to just sort of put, on some in, in, put up some images on uh, Instagram and so on. Just use Snapbridge and flip a few images over. Very accessible, goes quickly, and uh, you don't have to uh, adjust anything after that. They look really, really good, to be honest. So, yeah, very happy about that as well. And uh, some of the accessories that I got with the ZF here. Obviously, I got, uh, let's see where I put it now. Yeah. The small rig grip that I got with the Z body. So you just put that there and you have a very nice package with, with a grip. Yeah. So not very hard to get that grip and uh, yeah and obviously the 40 millimeter lens uh, match matches very well with the ZF body uh, so uh, to some of the features that I don't like with the ZF after having it a few weeks uh, I would have to agree with a lot of people reviewing the ZF the lack of native Z mount lenses, especially one with an aperture ring. You have those two plasticky lenses now, the 40 millimeter and the 28. And they look pretty good on the camera, but they're very 
light and plasticky and they don't have the aperture ring. So that's on my wish list for Nikon in the future that they make a sad mount lens with an aperture ring matching the build and everything to the ZF. That would be great. Otherwise, there's not much else that I don't like with ZF this far. I might uh, see some other stuff that I don't like in the future, using it a bit more. I would say that the battery door is pretty plasticky, doesn't really match the build, the build quality of the rest of the ZF. But otherwise, I'm very, very happy with this camera and uh, yeah, nothing else to complain with thus far, at least. So as the battery died on me for the third time and the sun is setting outside the window here in beautiful winter Sweden, I think it's kind of fitting to wrap this little short video about the ZF up. And uh, my conclusion and initial thoughts about this camera after a few weeks of usage is that I really, really enjoy using this camera if it isn't obvious by now. Uh, it will be a great family member and a little brother to the DF and uh, I look forward to using it uh, the coming weeks and years ahead. And I will try to make some sort of review about the ZF in the future as well. So yeah, to wrap this up, I'm gonna show you some of the images that I've taken with the ZF the couple of weeks I had it. So enjoy, like and subscribe and everything else. Thank you, bye bye.
beautiful ZF. So, so nice. Uh, hey, hey, DF, DF. No, no, come on now, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs>